year around the department tour that I rented on Airbnb. Uh, it's about 120, 125 pounds per night over in Cartagena, it's close to Marbella Beach. We're gonna do an apartment tour and uh, have a wander around and show you what you can get for your money. Let's go. As you can see, straight away, you have massive, massive windows overlooking the Caribbean Sea. So it's got two bedrooms, two en suites, got a massive washing machine, tumble dryer, all your controls, wash your sandals, wash anything else you need by hand, all your amenities, big massive double fridge freezer, electric hob and oven, microwave, um, coffee machine, everything you would expect in a high high end Airbnb. Super fast broadband. TV, Netflix, look at the view. They're on the 16th floor overlooking the Caribbean Sea. Look at this, amazing views. So it's two floors. Excellent views, as I say. All this, look, what you expect, high end, high finish, beautiful finish, excuse the long airs. Bedroom through there, en suite, up the stairs we go. High ceilings, look, whoa, massive, high ceilings, air conditioning, Air conditioning, key here, brilliant air conditioning. As you can see, all packed and ready to go. Towels to dry, beautiful mirror, fan, air conditioning again, queen bed, lovely beautiful sized bedroom. That's where all the action happens. Ensuite, perfect shower, hot shower, hot water, body wash and shampoo included. What do you expect for that price? All your clothes you could ever want to fit in the wardrobes, electrical sockets everywhere, air conditioning remotes, ideal really. High floor, almost to ceiling. Glass windows, look. High up, but it is. And this was booked and paid for in September. Very flexible, the Airbnb owners, Fernandez family. Thank you very much. Just show you what you can get for a view. Now, this is in the Edificio Montu, so it's the Montu building in Cartagena. Look at that for a view. Beautiful views of Cartagena. See all the action in the evening, the beautiful sunsets which occur over here. People down on the beach enjoying themselves. Other ho hotels, the uh, Ibis there, apartment blocks. People just enjoying the sun. In this Montu building, you've got uh, adults pool, a children's pool. You've got a Turkish bath, sauna, jacuzzi, um, games for the children. Um, it is children friendly downstairs. Um, up here, as you can see, you've got somebody that physically owns an apartment. They're not just all rentals. It's got a beautiful garden. Now we're up on the 16th floor and it goes up to the 18th floor. As you can see the high glass windows, fantastic view, beautiful view all the way across. There you go, look. High up. In the evenings you've got gents playing five side football down there. The balcony space where you can just relax. Chill here, connect to the Wi-Fi. At one point 
the Wi-Fi download speed is about 280 megabytes a second, which is brilliant. And upload speed, because I upload the YouTube videos, is pumping at 300 megabytes a second. Um, now when it's being used by two or three devices, it drops down to about 150 megabytes a second, which you can see. When you've got this view and you're working, just look at it, it's amazing. Turn around and just see. Look at that, beautiful view. Um, what, what more can I say really? For your money, it's brilliant. And with Airbnb, Airbnb it's pretty flexible. You can pay half as a deposit and then pay the, the next half four weeks before you arrive, which is pretty, pretty cool really. Um, You've got a workspace for anybody that wants to use a laptop, chill, another sofa, chairs, view of New York, as I say the air conditioning there, just have a wander around. All you need is you've got your coffee, sugar, tea, all part of the Airbnb. Experience. Internal phone, so if you ever want any food deliveries, you can get a Rappi food delivery service here, um, which is a delivery fee of about 7,000 pesos. Security will take care of everything for you downstairs. Um, if you want to arrange any excursions, any concierge, speak to the security guys on Montu. They look after you. Book in, you have to have your ID, passport. Um, Again, any services you need, they'll take care of it. A taxi, Uber, food, they look after you. They're brilliant guys, we've got an admin team here in this building that work hard and they look after all their clients and it's, it's a special place to come. Um, we're not close to Boca Grande, we're about two kilometers away, but we're away from the hustle and bustle of Boca Grande and it's close to, this is Marbella Beach, which again, just over here, just where my finger is, you've got the letters of Cartagena, which is Letras de Cartagena. Um, it's quite a common, popular tourist spot where coaches stop off with tourists. As you can see now, there's tourists and a coach there. People getting photos. Um, you've got all your beach huts um, where you can relax. This here is all, all free and then you get to there and you have to pay for your space. Um, again, highly recommended. It's a brilliant city to just unwind and relax, really. Have a good time, have a good party, a few drinks down here, um, have a laugh. Miss the place, but I'll be back. Um, it's an Airbnb at the end of the day. Um, we was talking to actually um, the architect um, who's from Madrid, who was part of the plans for this whole building. He lives here for six months of the year and lives in Madrid for the other six months of the year. And part of the design here, he said it was all planned to be high glass, beautiful views, you know, and what more, what more could you want? One more final look as we finish Cartagena and this Caribbean sea. Look at it, beautiful. Take it in. Goodbye from me, from Cartagena, back to Bucaramanga. On to the other one, on to the next one.